Good morning. Welcome to Johnson's Garden Time. Jeremy, once we get into April, there's some things that we we can do and we should do in our landscape to really help us manage that landscape for the whole season long. Yeah, as it starts warming up in, in even late February, early March, we, we tend to recommend people to, to kind of hold off a little bit on, on cleaning up landscape areas until about right now if, if you're only going to kind of do it once. So now, now's a great time to get out and clean up all of our uh, landscape beds, cut down some of our ornamental grasses, look at some maybe weed control for the, the upcoming season. Okay, listen, we've got some areas here that uh, that need that project done. The first thing we'll do is remove the leaves, but then we have most of these are, are perennials, which have the growth from last year that needs to be removed. Yeah, so so the, those perennials may be already starting to emerge. So we do want to, when we're raking, we want to rake a little bit gently. A little bit of damage on the rake isn't going to hurt them permanently, but you want to make, make sure that we're cautious of those plants coming up uh, from, the, from the ground. And even around our landscape shrubs too, the same thing. Go ahead and remove those, those leaves. Uh, let's the moisture get to the root zone as well. Yeah, we, we do recommend that people leave those, those leaves on the, the plants through the winter. It does help with some moisture retention through the, through the, the, the winter months and then um, removing them this time of year. Okay, and as you do that, you're gonna see some weeds that germinated last year. Uh, hembit, chickweed, dandelions, are starting to, to, to come up and grow and actually maybe start blooming. So there's some ways we can control those. One would be to just go in and physically remove those with a cultivating tool. And, and that, that can be done uh, definitely if you've got a large area, don't like using that. We can use something like the, the Kills All. You've got the, the Kills All Quick there, which is a ready to use product. Works very, very quickly within a matter of, of hours, uh, but it's gonna translocate to the roots and get you a good, good kill. Or we've got the uh, kills all or the kills all extended control that's going to have some some weed prevention uh, capabilities with it. And this particular one is safe for landscape, but with the kills all, it will kill anything it comes in contact with. If you've got plants coming up, I like to recommend using a, a piece of cardboard, block those areas, spray the, the weeds, and then and then that, that spray is not going to move to the desirable plant. Okay, and then we, you can use the, uh, the turf and ornamental as a prevention, break that in, uh, and it will keep weeds from coming up for, oh, what, 10 to 12 weeks? Yeah, about, about three months. So, so we can put that down, put it down about the, the first of summer, and that, that's kind of all we need until, until we get to the fall. Okay, and then it's a great time to fertilize. I like the Fertilum Train Shrub Food. We've got the Fertilum Gardener Special. Look at something that's maybe specific towards the type of plants that you have. Yeah, lastly, we've got, sometimes we'll have uh, elm seedlings or, or cottonwood seedlings that, that will come up in the landscape. Now's a, a great time to control some of those, the, the brush and stump killer from Fertilome. Put Paint that this on right after you cut it. It's going to move down to the roots and, and kill them. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.